face slash off. Face slash off. Octopusy. A Russian general by the name of Orlov Stephen Burkov recruits associates Kennel Kun Louis Jordan and his bodyguard behind a caviar bidding to arm a Soviet nuclear bomb in the American air base at Feldstadt in West Germany. By making the device look like an accidental explosion on the part of the U.S., Orlov hopes that NATO will disarm the country throughout Europe, making it easier for Orlov to invade. Who's defusing it? James Bond Roger Moore? The M16 agent discovers Orlov's plan while tracking the fabric and Orlov uses as payment for the nuclear device. He makes his way to the device and tries to disarm it with the help of another criminal turned good guy, Octopussy Maud Adams. How much time do they have when Octopussy shoots the case holding the device and exposes the countdown? The timer clearly has 14 seconds remaining before detonation. How much time does it take? When the device is exposed, Bond immediately tries to disarm it, carefully extracting the centerpiece from the larger component. Although the device was supposed to detonate in 14 seconds, it takes Bond 22 seconds to pull out the middle piece. Does it go boom? No. Bond manages to disarm it right as the countdown reaches zero. The Fifth Element Who set it? Jean Baptiste Emmanuel Zorb Gary Oldman. The villain in The Fifth Element has been instructed by the mysterious Great Evil to capture the Element Stones. He is fighting against Corbin Dallas Bruce Willis, a retired major in the Special Forces in order to find the other four elements, Dallas is tasked with obtaining the stones from the opera singer Clava Laguna. Zorb, however, wants the stones for himself. Dallas manages to get the stones from Clava Laguna, but Zorb arrives just in time and takes a case that he believes to house the stones back to his ship. In order to eliminate Dallas once and for all, Zorb leaves a time bomb behind. Who's defusing it? No one is tasked with disabling the device instead. They've chosen to let it go off. Zorg ends up defusing it after realizing his case is empty. He returns to the hotel, planning to find Dallas and the stones. How much time do they have? A voice over the loudspeaker announces that it will detonate in two minutes. How much time does it take? As the guests scramble to leave the hotel and Zorg re-enters the building, the voice over the loudspeaker announces that there is one minute left until it explodes. However, the announcement comes only 42 seconds after the initial announcement of one minute. 14 seconds later, the voice of the loudspeaker announces that the device will go off in 45 seconds. The scene flashes to the timer 24 seconds later, which now reads 27 seconds, a difference of only 18 seconds. Zorg then enters the room and approaches his device, which now reads 12 seconds. He inserts a card and stops the device at the 5 second mark, but it has only been a total of 1 minute and 45 seconds since the initial 2 minute countdown started. Does it go boom? No, Zorg is able to stop his own explosion. However, an angry and dying member of his former army activates his own device, which explodes five seconds later and takes Zorg out. Mission Impossible Fallout Who set it? Most of the finale in Mission Impossible Fallout revolves around defusing a device set by extremist leader Solomon Lane Sean Harris and government double agent August Walker Henry Cavill, hoping to cause chaos and anarchy that will allow them to take over the world. Walker and Lane plan to detonate it and contaminate the water supply of India, Pakistan and China. Who's defusing it? IMF agent Ethan Hunt Tom Cruise, along with the other members of his team, 
Luders to Kelvin Reeves, Isla Faust Rebecca Ferguson, and Benji Dunn Simon Pegg, all work to stop the device. How much time do they have? Lane sets a timer for 15 minutes before the device is set to detonate. How much time does it take, although the scene cuts through multiple action sequences? The timing is still a little weird. After 15 minutes of action, the countdown still has 6 minutes left, despite the fact that it was already supposed to detonate. After 6 more minutes, the timer really gets moving. At that point, the countdown reads 51 seconds. The team decides to cut the wires to defuse it, but they have to wait for Hunt to retrieve the key, which is on top of a very large cliff. 38 suspenseful seconds tick by before another flash to the countdown reveals they have 15 seconds to go. After a few moments, the team cuts the wires full minute after the countdown first revealed 51 seconds. It would have been 9 seconds too late. Not to mention, the entire sequence takes 23 minutes when our heroes were only supposed to have 15. Does it go boom? No, Hunt manages to retrieve the key just in time, and the bombs don't go off. The Hurt Locker the Hurt Locker Virtuosity Virtuosity Goldfinger Die Hard with the Vengeance The Dark Knight Rises the Dark Knight Rises. Hey guys, thank you so much for the support and like and comment down below. And also thank you so much for watching and I look forward to see you in the next video then. Take care. Bye.